will shock your soul and seal your doom tonight. Spooky, scary skeletons speak with such a screech. You'll shake and shudder in surprise when you hear these zombies shriek. We're so sorry, skeletons, you're so misunderstood. You only want to socialize, but I don't think we should. A spooky, scary skeleton shouts startling shrilly screams. They'll sneak them, there's a couple of girls and just won't leave you be. In class news, if you're interested in a career in nursing, Wilkes University in Wilkes-Barre is hosting an experience in nursing on Friday, November 3rd. Juniors and seniors, stop in the counseling office for more information. The class of 2018 is selling t-shirts. Ask your homeroom teacher for a t-shirt order form. There are three shirt designs. Order forms should be turned into Mrs. Sullivan's room 809 no later than Monday, November 6th. This is a reminder to all seniors that Jostens will be here on Wednesday, November 1st to take orders for announcements and caps and gowns during lunch periods. All seniors should be checking in with Jostens representative to get their cap and gown ordered for commencement. In club news, French club $5 dues must be paid ASAP to Madam Weber. See an officer if you have any questions. Drama club members, all money for barbecue chicken tickets must be turned in by Thursday, November 2nd. See Mrs. Haynes if you need more tickets to sell. Mata United Nation members, tomorrow is the last day to sign up for SVMUN conference on November 14th. Please sign up with Dr. Zaria in room 108 by tomorrow. In school news, admissions representatives will be visiting from the following colleges on the following dates. Tuesday, November 7th, Bridgewater College, located in Virginia. Monday, November 13th, Unity College, located in Maine. If you are interested in attending any of these meetings, sign up in the, at the desk in the College and Career Center, located in the library. Today is Falcoween, and the school is going spooky. From the students' creepy costumes to the statues in the art hallway, everyone sees these interesting statues, but not all of the students know the hard work that goes into them. BV2 correspondent Ian Morley spoke to art teacher Mr. Leonard about these scary masterpieces. What are these sculptures out here, actually? Well, this is uh, part of our sculpture class, and this is a group project where I commission a group of students to make a piece for me like they would do in real life if they were a sculptor. And we build these uh, with a wooden armature, a wooden skeleton, covered by newspaper, and then uh, tape and plaster over that, and then they paint them. How long would it take to normally make one of these? It's pretty time intensive. Uh, a few weeks to maybe a month. Okay. And you do this every year. So wh when did it start? Uh, let's see. I, I think it started for a zombie run that they run in Lebanon. And we made some to put into an art show um, down for the zombie run in, uh, in Lebanon City. And then it, the kids had so much fun, and I really had a good time with it, so we just continued to do it every year after that. Everyone's familiar with popular costumes such as Jack and Sally, Harley Quinn and the Joker, and much more. But what was popular before 2017? We have a few throwback photos of your favorite teachers dressed up for their Halloween. Here we have our own guidance counselor, Mrs. Knight, dressed up as Minnie Mouse. She says this was a completely homemade costume. Next, we have Mrs. Dresch twinning it up with her cat. Follow that perfect costume. We have Mrs. France looking adorable in her polka dot skirt and bow. And to wrap it up, we have Mrs. McMillan as a CC cheerleader. Go, Mrs. McMillan. Thanks to the faculty for sharing their throwback costumes. We look forward to seeing all of your creative costumes. We will be taking pictures of costumes during lunch, and we will post them on cchstoday.com in a photo gallery. And now we send it over to Paul with your sports news. Hi, I'm Paul DePando with your latest sports news. The girls' volleyball team incredible season ended last night in district playoffs. The girls fell to Central Dolphin three games to one. CD won three close games after the girls took the first frame. Grace Miller had 14 kills, Amy Johns, two aces, Brooke Varner, 28 assists, Sarah Russo, three blocks, and Maddie Weidel, 11 digs. Congrats to the seniors, Brooklyn Varner and Sarah Russo have been named Section 1 Second Team All-Stars. Grace Miller has been named Section 1 MVP, the first girl in school history to receive this award. Way to go, girls. Last night at Click Loose Arena, the Falcons ice hockey team defeated Dallastown 7-1.
Christian Hipschman had a goal and Drew Seifert had two goals to lead the Falcon skaters to victory. Assists to the goals by Nolan Hoover and Jack Allwine. Nick Kreiser and Chandler Walborn kept Dallas Town to one goal in the net. Friday night, the Falcons faced MSM at 8.45 at Click Lewis Arena. The JV football team improved their overall record to 5-1-1 after topping E-Town 27-7 Monday night. Cam Davis connected with Cole Miller for two scores. Isai Santos and Tyler Cruz each had, two, had, each had a touchdown. Extra points were added by Hunter Bojanic. Stellar defense led the Bears to a handful of first downs and a score late in the game. Jappel Gibbs had an Odell Beckham-like grab for one of his two interceptions. Trey Kalbach also intercepted the Bears' QB on the first drive of the game. Any girls interested in playing softball in the spring, there will be an interest meeting tomorrow at 7.30 in the new gym. Winter sports concussion testing continues on Monday for winter sports. Girls basketball November 6th and wrestling November 7th. All tests will start at 2.45 in room 701. Please bring your computer charged or charging cord. All students who have a fall weight room pass, please turn them into the high school athletic office. If you want a winter pass, renewal applications are now available. Applications for winter passes are now available in the high school office. You must have a, an approved winter weight room pass in order to use the weight room. That's all for your weekly watch. I'm back to Pam and Ann. Alexis Hartman, Emily Binkley, Joshua Wildonger, and Kathleen Steckbeck, please see Mr. Plitschka today. Also, we have a last-minute announcement. NHS members, please bring your chicken barbecue money and tickets to tomorrow's meeting. That's all for your morning announcements today. I'm Elle Woods. And I'm Lilo. Make it a great day, Cedarcrest.